Welcome to video four of the Beginner Guitar Quick Start series. I'm Nate Savage. In this lesson, we're gonna cover the parts of the acoustic and electric guitar. Knowing the parts of the acoustic and electric guitar is really important because you need to be able to effectively communicate about your instrument to other guitar players. I have my acoustic here, so let's start with that. We're just gonna go through the parts on the acoustic guitar, and some of them overlap, most of them actually overlap with the electric, which we'll get to later. Let's start down here on this end of the guitar. This whole part of the guitar is called the headstock of the guitar, and I'll kind of break those parts down for you. These right here are called tuning keys, and those are obviously the parts you turn to tune the strings of the guitar. These little parts right here, which kind of connected to the tuning keys, are called the tuning pegs, or the string pegs, and that's where you attach your strings to the guitar. As you work your way down here, this white part on the guitar is called the nut, and that's where the strings rest before they go to the tuning peg. The next little area of the guitar we're gonna work with is this part right here, and this whole entire area is called the neck of the guitar, and there are a few specific parts that I wanna go over here with you too. These metal strips running vertically right here are the frets of the guitar, and the frets are attached to the fretboard or this piece of wood that runs all along the neck right here. And that's usually glued onto the neck, but sometimes it's actually part of the neck. Most guitars have inlays or fret markers, and there's two reasons for these. One of them is aesthetics, just for decorations, and the other one, the other reason is to help you keep track of where you are on the guitar. You may have just dots on your guitar. These are a little more fancy. Regardless, they serve the same function. Moving up this way a little more, this whole part of the guitar is called the body of the guitar, and this is where we get a little bit of variance from acoustic to electric, so let me go through all of those parts with you. On the acoustic, you're usually gonna have a pick guard right here, and that's just so you don't scratch your guitar up when you're using your pick, right? Most guitars, most acoustic guitars, have a sound hole that's right here in the middle. Some of them have it in other spots or not at all. It just depends on your particular guitar. This part of the guitar right here, this black part, it's called the bridge of the guitar, and that's usually glued to the top of your acoustic. This white part on the bridge of my guitar is called the saddle, and it's where the strings rest before they go into these holes back here. Now, the strings go into the holes, and then you put these little pins called bridge pins into the bridge to hold the strings in place. Some bridges don't have pins at all. You just stick them through the end back here, and they're called pinless bridges. It really just depends on the type of guitar you have. All right, as you can see, I have a strap on my guitar and I have strap buttons too. There's one on the front and there's one on the back too. Now your acoustic guitar may or may not have strap buttons. It really depends on your particular situation. Some of them have one on the back and some of them don't have one up here. If that's the case for your guitar, if you have a strap, make sure that it comes with like a little shoelace that we can tie around the neck of your guitar right here so you can use a strap with your guitar. The electric guitar has many of the same parts that an acoustic guitar does, and there are some major differences though, and most of those differences come with the electronics. Let me switch to my electric real quick, and I'll show you what the differences are. So I've got my electric here, and like I said, a lot of the parts are the same. Headstock, tuning keys, frets, fret, board, neck, body. But when we get to the electronics, there's a quite a bit of differences that you need to know about. There are two main areas of electronics that you should be familiar with, and that's the pickups and the controls. The pickups are basically the microphones of your guitar. They're gonna pick up the vibrations from the strings and then it goes out to your amplifier from there, right? Pickups come in two basic varieties, humbuckers and single coils. Now these pickups on this guitar are humbuckers and they're usually a bit wider. You can't see it because these pickups have covers over them but there's two rows of screws right here that pick up the sound from the strings. And humbuckers are called humbuckers because they get rid of the hum that's normally associated with single coil pickups. Single coil pickups are generally a little bit brighter and they have a hum that's associated with them that the humbuckers can kind of get rid of. Neither humbuckers or single coils are better or worse or anything. It's all about personal preference and the kind of sound that you want for your guitar. Now let's talk about the knobs, the control knobs on the guitar. They come in two basic varieties. That's volume knobs and tone knobs. This particular guitar has four knobs. Yours may have one, two, or three, it doesn't matter, it just depends on your particular guitar. Volume knobs basically control the output or how much volume is coming from your pickups. This is the volume knob for this pickup, so if I back off on it, that pickup's gonna get a little bit quieter. If I max it out, it's gonna get as loud as it possibly can. This is the tone knob for this pickup. If I back off on that, 
it's going to take some of the treble out of that pickup. And if I max it out, that pickup is going to be as trebly sounding as it possibly can. Now let's move on to the second type of control for your electric guitar, and that is the pickup selector switch. On this guitar, this is the pickup selector switch, and this is a three-way toggle style of selector switch. And all it does is select which pickup is active. When it's all the way down, the bridge pickup is active, and the bridge pickup is going to be more trebly just because it's closer to the termination of the strings back here. If it's in the middle, both pickups are selected, and that's kind of a medium tone. And if it's up here, on the neck pickup, that's the only one that's activated. And the neck pickup generally is gonna give you a bit more mellow of a tone. And pickup selector switches come in a couple of different varieties, but the two main ones are toggle switches like this one, or if you have a Strat of some kind, you're gonna see like a blade switch, maybe a three-way or a five-way switch. So that does it for the basic parts of the acoustic and the electric guitar. In the next lesson, we're gonna learn the names of the open strings of the guitar, and that's important for two reasons. First of all, you have to know the names of the open strings to start learning how to tune the guitar. Second, you need to learn the names of the open strings to start learning the note names all the way up and down the guitar neck. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments and I'll answer them there, or you can email me at nate at guitarsystem.com. See ya.